Thanks, uh, Thanksgiving is coming up and my favorite tradition to do with my mom is to sit down on Thanksgiving and uh, watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. By far my favorite tradition uh, and I, I really, I really wanted to sit down and talk about the uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and the best way I know how to do that is with the tier list. So we're actually, we're gonna take all the video, typically we like talking about video games uh, on these tier lists. However, there, there are some video games in here, a video game mascots in the Macy's uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade. There is not a whole lot of video game mascots in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Uh, there, there's like five, five, right? So today we have branched out. So we're including video games, we're including cartoon characters, and we're including pop culture icons uh, to branch out the, uh, the, the weaving pack. Uh, and we're gonna pick my favorite ones, range them from S to D. These are gonna consist of mostly video game character balloons, but also there will be a, a float or two in there. Okay, so we know what's up. You know the rules. Let's talk about it. So the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, one of my favorite pastimes. Let's talk about advertise people advertising to us in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. A lot of that has to do with just uh, yeah, you know, stuff like. Honey Bee, right? From, um, he's a cereal mascot. Uh, and he, he's got the, you know, he's got the honeycombs. He's pretty cool. I actually, I like this guy a whole lot. And his balloon looks pretty decent. We're gonna, I'm gonna put it as a B. So I think, I think the biggest requirement for putting them higher and lower is if they've aged poorly or not. If they, if they deserve to be in the main, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. If they were, if they will ep forever be a pop culture icon, that's that's what ranks them highest and lowest. So stuff like, uh, here's a good good example. Jimmy Neutron. I love Jimmy Neutron. He is not a huge thing today, right? He he's not he's not a huge pop culture icon. Some could argue that he is, and you know, I I still love him. I still love Jimmy Neutron. But he's gonna go a little lower on the um, on the tier list. This float's pretty cool though. I do like it. It's decent. Uh, what else we got here? Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues just uh, made a comeback, and like I, I was big on Blue's Clues as a kid. Not a kid anymore. But it could be debated how big of a pop culture icon he is. Still love him. Still love him. We'll keep him as a uh, a B because I I love I love my boy Blue or girl. Blue's Clues is a girl. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's grab a let's grab big boys. <laughs> uh, it, it's no secret that I'm a huge SpongeBob fan on this channel. Uh, I cover him a lot. Uh, there are a lot of different SpongeBob um out there. This one's probably the most classic. A lot of different SpongeBob balloons. I I have three, so let's actually just go over them all real fast. Uh, this one, I think, is the newest, so it's Spongebob with Gary on his back. And, like, it's still pretty good, but not as good as the original. Put him as S, because Spongebob's facing down, you can't really see all of his face. And here we have, uh, Spongebob with a Christmas hat. This one's also really good. I'm gonna put it as a... As an A. Okay, so that's all of Spongebob, I promise. Uh, let's actually, let's tackle some of the video game characters, because we talk about video game characters on this the show. The first video game character, to my knowledge, to appear in a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade was Sonic. And he's pretty old. He's from, you know, the Genesis Sonic. So this this must have been Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in the, the 90s, probably. And it's like, it's cool. It, it wasn't huge though. I'm gonna put him as a B. And then we got some of the, one of the newer Sonics, right? So this is like Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure 1 Sonic. And he's not as big of an icon as the original Sonic. Incredibly debatable. Incredibly debatable, but like, I don't know. I still think the, the original one still had a little more flair, but this guy, he does have a nicer build to him than the original than that boy Sonic, so I'm, I'm gonna stick him as an A. Okay, let's tackle uh, some more video game ones. Uh, Mario does not have a balloon, and that really surprised me. You know, I really hunted one for a balloon of Mario. He only has like a small float. It was advertising Mario Odyssey, and it was like that big. It was not, 
a big float. I'm gonna put him down as a C. It was like, not a celebration of this character. It was literally just to advertise uh, his new game, right? And that, that puts it a little a little lower for me. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's, let's grab the Kool-Aid Man. <laughs> I uh, I love him. So I I've never known the Kool Aid Man to skateboard. I don't. Know, I haven't watched a whole lot of Kool Aid Man recently. Uh, but he's on a skateboard, and also that skateboard's on a little ball, and that ball is to hide the vehicle under him. So yeah, there's a vehicle driving the Kool Aid Man around, uh, which is kind of cool. Kool Aid Man still a still an icon, but not as much as some of these other guys like. Uh, you know, the B from um, from the cereal. I'm just gonna put him down as a C. I can't imagine a whole lot of stuff going in D because a lot of this is just celebration of um, of all these icons, all these characters. And I love, I love watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Advertise to me your characters. Here we have the Monopoly Man. And I really, really, really like this. Uh, I And I don't know why. He is... Not as big as, I'd say, Sonic or Spongebob, but I, I really like this balloon. He's not as big of an icon, but like, still, uh, I, I think there's room to celebrate the Monopoly man. I, where's his monocle though, huh? That's my question. Just kidding, he's never had a monocle. Fight me. Just kidding, don't fight me. I don't know. There, there's some argument for it. Okay, so we got a, we got Adventure Time. Finn and Jake, uh, riding, Finn's riding Jake. Um, I really like this one. It's simplistic. Uh, let's put it as A, B, Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Um, Kung Fu Panda was a really good movie. It's one of my top, top favorite movies out there. That being said, Poe isn't a huge icon. So like, we're, we're gonna put him a little lower. We're gonna put him as a C. We have advertisement for KFC. Uh, it's a little float. It's a little hard to see in this little JPEG. This is a weird way to advertise. Like, it's not bad. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. C, it'll go in C. Okay, let's grab some more Hello Kitty. We got Hello Kitty here. Hello Kitty, she's, she's a big icon. She's, you know, she's charmful. I think she like leads the Thanksgiving Day Parade every year. And that, that's cool, so we'll put it as an A. We have a Power Ranger. I don't know, uh, Power Rangers aren't too relevant anymore. And I do believe if you want to make it into the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, you, you do need to be a big icon. And like, I have nothing against the Power Rangers. It's just, it's it's definitely weird, right? Uh, I, I'm having a hard time placing this because I have no opinion on the Power Rangers myself. Um, and because of that, and because it's my tier list, we're putting him down as a C. He, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just a C. Okay, let's move back to video game characters. We got Pikachu, and we got Chubby Pikachu. Pokey Floats Pikachu. Couldn't put it in Smash, but we got it in the tier list. His nose looks really weird. Um, I like him. He, he's, I think, the first uh, design of Pikachu. So this, this might have predated Sonic. I don't know. He's okay. Let's put him as a... Stuck him as a B. Not a whole lot of stuff up up there for me this year. It's weird because I'm like I, I don't want to be too gracious because you know there, there's all these huge like icon characters that are making that I believe belong at the top. But like I'm picking all my favorites and I'm not putting them at the top. And it's slim pickings for all the ones that are my least favorite. Let, let's all right here. Hold on. Let's do a little bit of rearranging here blue from blues clues Can probably go up a little higher and adventure time. I think can also go up a little higher We got some more Pikachu here So I don't feel too bad putting that Pikachu at the bottom even though he is a big boy Pikachu uh, There's this Pikachu and he's chasing a little pokeball um, And I, I do like this Pikachu a little more so we're gonna stick him up as an a and then we have my favorite favorite Pikachu. This is arguably, he's skinny Pikachu and I, I do like a little, my Pikachu a little more thick. Anyways, uh, 
So, and he, he also has a scarf on and a little like snowman and they're planning on doing something weird with him this year. It's his 20th appearance in the Macy's uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade. He's uh, they're, they're planning on doing something a little special this year with him. I was very scared. I'm going to put him as ass, by the way. I was very scared that we, we weren't going to have a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, but they're having it this year, which is really cool. It's just it's not going to be a big crowd. Uh, it's just going to air on live television, which is cool. OK, come at the frog. Our arguably right he definitely belongs here he's a he's a huge pop culture icon um and i love kermit i love muppets we're gonna stick him in s here we have let's grab a new one angry birds uh to promote the new angry birds movie that came out in what to 2017 uh angry birds was huge let's not get that wrong it is dated though it is over 15 years old i think it's old we i don't know uh, it, it it seems a little weird that he's in here i'm putting him as a d nothing wrong with angry birds he's just he doesn't i don't know not, not as much room okay mr bart from the simpsons i've actually very recently started watching the simpsons his eyes are bulging out and it's a little creepy but i do love it yeah bart bart's a He's a big icon, but I'm uh, I'm gonna have to stick him as a B, I think, because uh, eyes are freaking me out. Okay, Barney. Barney is a big icon, but he also he's he's a little bit of an uh, annoying icon. That being said, on sheer performance, uh, on this specific Barney, this Barney balloon is pretty famous because he was torn apart on live television. Here's the here's the photo of it. <laughs> So, for sure, entertainment value, I'm putting it up there a little more uh, because we gotta see Barney ripped to shreds. It's a little messed up to say. Okay, so let's uh, let's start like going through these, right? Ronald McDonald, his like bottom is a little more higher up there, and I don't know why, but I do like this float. But Ronald McDonald is a dirty boy who just wants to sell us McDonald's. St sitting at a B, sitting at a B. Dexter's Lab. Um, I really like Dexter. He's huge for cartoons, right? That being said, though, not a huge pop culture icon at the time. I'm sure he was, but he might be a little lower there. He'll be sitting next to Jimmy Neutron right there. We got Garfield, and Garfield, his face, it's like, it's split very weird. This balloon wasn't the best built balloon, but he is a good pop culture icon we'll sit him as a c right arthur he looks pretty good but like okay so his his face is definitely just like um an image like put onto the balloon whereas dexter you know you can actually see his glasses his eyes his you know his mouth uh they gave him a little more of a definition and animation to him so uh, i don't know because of that arthur is a great pop culture icon I might actually put Arthur there, put Dexter up there, right? Goku! Goku is... There's no denying that Goku is the biggest anime out there. Never watched it myself. Dragon Ball! This is Dragon Ball because I do not feel confident saying that this is Goku because I might embarrass myself. It, it's it's just... It's, it's very weird seeing him here. Uh, but I guess he does belong. I'll, I'll put him as a B. I don't know. I really liked... Green Eggs and Ham, the Netflix series, I thought it was really good. That being said, I don't think this will be a pop culture icon later down the line. And also, they're so close to the floor, you can barely, like, see the fun detail. I like seeing my floats a little higher. He's sitting as a D. Uh, okay, alright, so I'm a, I'm a big Rugrats fan. I love my Rugrats. I'm, I'm all about the Rugrats. They're pretty good on the pop culture side, um, but not the highest. We're gonna sit him as an A. And then we got the same one, but this one was advertising uh, their Paris movie. I think their second movie. So they literally just stuck a hat, the, the little Paris hat on there. What is it, a bonnet? I forget, oh man. Bonnets are the, the baby thing. Whatever, they literally just put a hat on top of Tommy and called it good. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll, we'll put that as a C. We have Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man's really cool. I love Spider-Man. That being said, uh, there's something weird about seeing these giant floats of human characters. And you see, like, the tiny humans at the bottom. So you, it really puts in perspective of how big they are. And it really scares me. And Spider-Man is one of those where, it, like, it really scares me. Because I, I saw Spider-Man. 
and then I saw the people under him and I'm like god that's big and it was kind of terrifying and because it was so terrifying sorry Nathan I'm gonna have to put him as a C I know how much you love spider-man but he's a little lower on there because of how scary it is Mickey Mouse terrifying Alright, this one's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Nothing against Mickey Mouse. He's a he's a, arguably the biggest pop culture icon out there, but he's terrifying. Shrek 2, he's a little scary as well. There's some anime animated people that don't make the jump to balloon very grace gracefully. That being said, Shrek is amazing. It's going as a B. Okay, so we got uh <laughs> Flintstone here. This is definitely the the weirdest <laughs> balloon, but so let 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 me kind of explain what I think is going on here. So he is cross-eyed, and why I think he is cross-eyed and like has that big goofy smile is if you were to look at Fred from the left or Fred from the right, no matter what, Fred would be looking at you, and the nose would cover up the other eye. So I think. That's that's really cool, right? And it, it's like it's a nice illusion. So no matter what, Fred will be looking down at you and not be looking at one side. That being said, if you look on it straight on forward and a little higher, it's it's very wacky and just very weird. Um, but it's it's a cool illusion. It's a cool illusion. Very wacky. Very funny. I love it. We're gonna put it as B. Chicken Little was not a good movie. I don't think he belongs here because he's not a huge pop culture man you know he's going down wow disney you really i feel bad because most of the disney icons are are a little lower i wish i would have found some more uh mickey mouse ones yeah all right I, okay so all right we got scooby-doo i'm a big fan of scooby-doo scooby-doo belongs here he's an a he's an a that one's obvious a uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. This was a float, and it's a float of Foster's, um, Foster's Home, right? And I really like it because they're singing and dancing. Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song. And I'll try not to sing out of tune. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Mm, I get by with a little help from my friends. And they put on, like, quite a show. Will's voice isn't here, but like Coco's, Eduardo's, and I think Blue's voice is here. And they put on a little show and I really liked it. I even remembered it to this day. I was like, that was great. Though it's not as big of an icon as the rest, he is going a little higher for me just because of performance, so to speak. Uh, same with, we got uh, Sesame Street here and they also put on a little show and I did like it at the time. I'm a little old for Sesame Street, so it's going as a B. Eruptor, another Skylanders, huh? That, that just, it really goes to show you how big Skylanders was. It was gigantic. It's not that big of a thing now, but it was, like, Skylanders was huge. So big that it, it got afloat in the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. We're gonna put him as a B. But he also, he also got a special Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade Skylander made after him, which is so cool. I, I don't know the rarity of these items, uh, but it's just like, it, it's a weird video game, like, fact that I really like. But yeah, he, he may be, he would be a little lower, but he's got his uh, little Skylander uh, figure. All right, now we got the M&M balloons, uh, and this is a balloon itself. Maybe I can find a better picture than this. But yeah, uh, yellow M&M, just out of the balloon pretty pretty on point character wise uh he'll go and see buzz lightyear this is my last one buzz lightyear big big icon right and i do like this balloon a lot you know i do i do love toy story a lot a lot let's put an s okay that is our complete tier list. Thank you uh, for watching this quick, a uh, little unorthodox episode. If you, uh, if you would like, I got other tier lists on. I did one on my favorite Halloween costume. Feeling, feeling pretty confident. 
Hopefully we get some more uh, awesome balloons. I'm really looking forward to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this year. Let me know if you're watching it. I will see you guys in the best top tier video game related <laughs> Christmas decoration, tree decoration uh, tier list. Totally, that's 100% happening. 1 million percent happening. It's actually, I'm being sarcastic, but that's not a bad, I might make it. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Goodbye.